Really? No. Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, How to Train Your Dragon. Just a few of the film series created by DreamWorks Animation Studios. Hey, uh, what are you doing out here? Someone's gonna see you. And their newest film, Abominable, has released in the States and topped the weekend box office. As animation techniques improve, the amount of time it takes to make these movies increases exponentially. Take this guy for example. The original Shrek in 2001 took 6 terabytes of data and around 5 million hours of render time. For Abominable, we had 150 terabytes of used space uh, that will be archived and then we had another 150 terabytes of temp space just for effect simulations and all that data. And we used about 181 million render hours. Make it go bigger. Work on Abominable began seven years ago. So why does it take so long to get the original idea from paper to screen? Make an animated movie almost like you're making a live action movie. And all the tech technicalities of a, of a camera in live action are now incorporated into animation. Before we used to do all in 2D, we used to film with a camera locked up and uh, on top of a table, so everything had to be moving down on the paper. But with this kind of technology, the camera is inside the drawing, and we move the camera around the drawing, and uh, we find the character, and we, and we have to build the whole world that way. Uh, back in the Shrek days, you would basically try and light and render a scene, and you would wait and wait and wait to see an image, and then you could make your changes, and you'd wait and wait again. And so the feedback loop, which is critical for the artist, has really improved. So this is a Moonray interactive render, and as you can see, I can interactively move the character around in space, change the camera, but I can also go through and actually start making lighting changes, and as I do that, the feedback is almost instantaneous, but the overall time has increased. So that's why the overall render hours has increased, because we're just doing much more complex lighting calculations. So, how animated films are made here has changed massively over the last couple of decades. With more data, meaning more detail. The shot is around 120 frames, or no, 220 frames, um, and that's about 14 feet of animation. So that means this shot should take an animator two weeks to do. Technology might be at the heart of realising an artist's vision, but very often the soul of an idea comes directly from the natural world. Take these koi carp in the lagoon here at the DreamWorks campus. They were an inspiration for the amazing cloud koi flight scene in the movie. Here's our, our final image, which um, Ariel Chisholm, our, our lighting lead for the sequence, really did an amazing job. And the results? Well, they're far from abominable. Guys, hey! what are you doing up here? Hey! Get away from her! Wait. Okay, I'm calling the police! He's not dangerous! Ah. Look at him! He's a yeti! 